Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be trying out a $20 brush cleaner that I bought at Costco. It comes with this and this. Uh, I have taken it out. I have not used it yet though. I just read the directions and it's also still disassembled. So we're gonna put it together in front of you and also we're gonna test it out for the first time ever to see if it's really better than her brush cleaning skills. So first step we have is take this plastic thing out. It works. Here we go. So basically if it's powder for powder use, like eyeshadow, any of your other powder things, you use soap, you use this soap cleaner and water and you put it in the bowl. But if it's foundation, use cleanser only. So I'm assuming like if it's any like like concealer or any liquid too that is on it, I would use that. Just the cleanser, so we're gonna do it that way, I guess. So this is the bowl, obviously. Um. <laughs> so first we're gonna do, we're gonna do the powder brushes first. I have a bunch here because I never like cleaning my brushes. Um, so we're gonna do the powder ones first. Those are like foundations and concealer brushes. So we'll do the powder. We'll do the powder first. Um, I'm gonna do a couple. I'm not gonna do like all of them. Maybe you guys suffer through all this. Just gotta find the thingy. Shit, what in? Okay. The correct size for the brush. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, you just put the silicone on it. <laughs> Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so now we're gonna put some, oh, we forgot the water. We're gonna put water <laughs> and soap in the bowl and we will be right back. All right, so we're back. So we put some water in it. We put about that much and now we're gonna put some of the cleanser in it. I don't know how much. I hope I'm not putting too much. That's a lot. Yeah, cause I don't wanna waste it, but yeah. So we have this much of water and soap. And then, so you have to make sure you put it straight on. Um, so now we're gonna do all the brushes. Um, you you dip it in for like five seconds. No, for five seconds. And then you switch it on for 10. And then you're supposed to slowly lift it out of the water, but not out of the bowl for five, 10 seconds. Cause it's supposed to like dry it. It's like way better than I can do. Right, it actually like, that is pretty cool. And then if you have to fix it, if you have to fix the bristles, it says just to fix the bristles. This, wow, feel that. It's actually not that bad. It's like, pretty dry. I can never. Right? Me neither. Like, literally, because I never clean it. But, <laughs> so that's the first brush. It's actually pretty dry, I'm surprised. Maybe I have to take this out? Yeah, I don't know what to do. And this is the water just after the first brush. Time to drink. So I'm gonna use like, this is one of my most used brushes. This is very highly used. Is this supposed to be like white or something? Yes, this was actually white, guys. Just saying, so you know, this was pure white. There was no tint on it. Oops, I took the thing off. Hopefully I didn't break it, guys. That'd be really terrible. We are still in business. Okay, so again, we're gonna do it five seconds. Now we're gonna lift up for Still has some, I still have some pink in it. I'm gonna leave it in a little bit longer, see if I can get any more of that pink off. Again, pink does stain everything, including your skin, so. Wow. Five to 10 seconds. That's crazy how much different it looks. Fixed thingies. 
So that's definitely, it's not like clean, clean, but this brush hasn't been white in a long time, if you know what I'm saying. But it's really dry, especially if you compare it to hand washing it, this is, this is like, this is dry. I can literally use this to do my eyeshadow. That's cool AF. Okay. I can never, I'm getting replaced. She is getting replaced, guys. No more earning money with clean brushes. I'm just kidding, we both know I'm still not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> She'll still get paid, but it'll just be funner. Mad people trying to take my job now. Let me use the brush thingy. I kind of feel like Harry Wizard right now, bro. Like, Harry Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> with the wizard wand. I can't even, I don't know any of the spells, but if I did, I would totally, it's like something Leviosa, right? Mm. Yeah. I need to watch Harry Potter now. I feel like I'm making Starbucks. Look, it's like a little hurricane or something. Yeah. Oops. That is so gross, like how dirty my brushes are. And then I was using this stuff on my eyelids. This is another highly used brush, like this. These two brushes, these, actually these three brushes are my most highly used. This one is more so for like transition shades, so you will never see like too much like dark shadows on it as this one, so <sighs> this is pretty cool. It's probably like the coolest thing I've ever bought. I think these are usually like, cause I know I checked on Amazon and I, I don't think you can get anything for $20 either, because it's not even 20 bucks. It's It was like $19.49 or something like that at Costco. So I um, I actually originally wasn't even, I was originally gonna buy it a long time ago, but then I changed my mind. Not a long time ago, it was literally a month ago. That's me being dramatic. And then at work yesterday, someone was talking about it. Um, so when I was cashing out, and I was talking about how I almost bought it, but changed my mind, but they're saying it's a life, not a life change, game changer. I don't know, my life changer. But yeah, I have to agree. This is definitely worth my 20 bucks. All right, so now we have this tiny little baby travel brush. At least we know it'll fit all sizes. All sizes. Oh yeah, those are, I probably should have done that earlier, huh? It comes with those that you put your brushes in. So there's many different sizes. No job too big or too small for this style pro. And look at the name. It feels weird on my hand though. Like put your hand on it when you're holding it. <laughs> That is, that's so cool. All right, so now we will go do the foundation brushes, but I'm gonna finish cleaning the rest of these off screen and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So we have cleaned all these brushes. Let's make a loud noise right here. They're all clean and perfectly dry. I can like literally use them right now. Literally, not metaphorically, literally. And then, now for foundations and concealers, we're gonna use just the cleanser. So we're gonna put the cleanser in here. I don't wanna put too much because I honestly didn't see the cleanser by itself when I bought it at Costco. So that being said, where do I buy the cleanser from? I don't know. So I don't wanna use too much as I put a good amount in there. I'll have to definitely look it up. Um, I'm hoping this will be enough, but um, I don't know where you're supposed to. Oh, look, it says vegan. So it's a, a vegan makeup one. Okay. 
Can we do pop pop? That's a five seconds. I don't even see the weird faces I'm making through this. <laughs> I feel it. Like, oh my god, that is gross. Look, it's coffee, guys. I was actually worried about that. So let's see if I did a good enough job. I've not seen that good color. Right? Yeah, guys, look at that. Homemade cup of joe. Okay. And that, yeah, look, it's dry. This is definitely more, has more bristles than the other one. I want to just do a little bit more. Just, just, just a just in case, yeah. Okay. We want some fresh made coffee. Oh my gosh, this worries me. Oh, they can't even see what's happening. <laughs> Luckily, it has like that thing up top because I would actually honestly worry about that. Yeah. I mean, I feel like maybe I should have put more in there. But, um, at the same time. You don't know, like, where to get the rest of that one. Yeah, exactly. I said, yeah, I really don't know where to get more. I'll have to look that up. Oh, much better. Look at that. Look guys, it's white again. I don't think it's been like that since I bought it. Which was like mini. <laughs> that brown thing, this is a Sony Kushik brush. The other one was a Morphe brush. This is a Sony Kushik brush that you can buy at Target. Again, we are gonna do the same thing with this. Right, you're supposed to let it sit for five seconds. My bad, bro. Kato's here to entertain you while I stare at the ball. Like I'm, I'm, you see, you guys. Like I'm almost like, like I'm a little bit more than halfway through the bottle. Let this soak. Now we're gonna do it again. I feel like this is as clean as it's gonna get. I actually can't remember, I actually don't think this was ever white tipped, now that I'm thinking back. I don't think it was. Oops, there's some on the side. But that's really freaking awesome. This brush cleaner has come to save the day. how dry it gets it though like that's what amazes me and then we have these, oops, different size for this one i 
and then concealer brush. That's amazing. I can't get over that. All right, so we know it works, like for sure. Like there's no denying it. I'm honestly amazed at this. Um, I would definitely say it. it's definitely worth the $20. I highly recommend you guys buy it. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find it online. I also don't think it really matters what kind you buy. I'm pretty sure you can buy any other cleanser if you run out. So, I honestly like it. I'm gonna have a fun time with this. I know Kata definitely will because I'm probably gonna be paying her to do it. But yeah, that was pretty cool. And again, you guys just detach it and then it, it comes with the batteries. So I didn't put any in because I wouldn't have thought to buy it, to be honest. I wouldn't have thought to do that at all. But yeah, it's pretty simple and straightforward. I would definitely um, buy it again if I have to, but I hope I never have to because this is awesome. It's highly recommended. Go to Costco, check it out. It's only $20. I, I would definitely do it. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, give, like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow my channel. Bye.